All right, Aaron Bright, back again from Hippo Education with Matt DeClerc. Aaron. Both of us, emergency physicians, we both got here as fast as we could. Yes, we did. We are reviewing another EP Monthly article. This one is Navigating the Penicillin Pseudo-Allergy Pandemic, which is a handful of a title, like but a so pandemic. true. I did a pandemic. This uh, validated what we've known forever. It's like, yes. you're not allergic to penicillin. Yeah. Your mom just told you that Yeah, because you had a viral rash yeah. when they gave you penicillin that for correct. your virus. Yeah. I feel like this one's a super good treatment of something that we all run into all the time and sort of gloss over and go, okay, fine, your penicillin. Nobody wants to take a risk. This gives me a lot of reasons to take that risk, including some very important ones, which is you may be going for a treatment algorithm to avoid that fake penicillin allergy yeah. that's not as good for the patient, obviously more expensive, all those different things come into play. Harder dr antibiotics that cause more C. diff, that's right. drug resistance. I was like, do we need to do that? We, yeah. need to, we need to switch back the gears. Nine out of 10 patients claim they have penicillin allergy. One out of those 10 have a penicillin allergy. So we're talking a 1% of the population. And I also really enjoyed, they go through the cephalosporins and when you should uh, worry about them. It's yeah. a little never, complicated, but never. They, basically never. Never. They give you a, uh, they even give you a little chart. So if you're, yeah. if you're in a situation where you've got a patient who says they're pen allergic, you want to give them a cephalosporin, you're not sure if it's anaphylactic, you can go to this little chart they gave you and look it up because you can't really memorize it. And probably it could really change the outcome of this patient. So this is a, yeah, I got, I got it from this is meat and if their allergy wasn't like, yeah, I was dying from anaphylaxis when they gave me yeah. penicillin for my syphilis. I'm like, oh, I'm giving it to you. That's right. And B, you know what? We need to do this because it's going to make things better. That's and right. C is like, hey, if you go in anaphylactic shock, don't worry. You're in the right place. A penicillin test takes 15 to 20 minutes. Did you just yeah. read that? Yeah. I, this is what I do. They said, doctor, I'm pen allergic. And I go, <laughs> and then I just give it to him. That's, yeah. what, I, that's what I do, we'll, Matt. We'll watch you. We'll okay. watch you. Right. We do a lot of that. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you too.